All right, y'all, for my weekly video, I'm going to do something a little different because I just, everything I made, I've put in the shop, so I don't have anything to show you because it's in the shop. And it's really slow out there, so I'm going to have to figure out some different stuff to do just because I don't know if people have no need for crochet stuff or they're very specific on what they want, um, but it's slow, but I, you know, I'm doing okay, so today I'm going to do a video and we're I'm going to show you how to make remake a pillow um, what you're going to need is a pillow I got all my materials at the thrift store for under two dollars and what you need is a pillow you need something to cover the pillow with and then um, you need to know how to crochet but you could leave it off if you wanted to. But I may. You're gonna need yarn and a crochet hook and make the do a doily pattern. I use the doily pattern from the crochet crowd. Uh, I'll put the link down there in the box um, on how to do their doily. Mikey is so good at, at explaining what to do with you know how to do it. So um, anyway, so here's what I'm gonna do. All right, I got me a pillow and it's nice and squishy <laughs> and I found two blue jean linen napkin things and I sewed a pillow pouch um, if you can yeah you might need to learn know how to sew um, I'm still learning so anyway I made a pillow pouch put the pillow in it and then sewed it up then um, I took some the yarn that I made the doily with and did a whip stitch all the way down and then I took it and crochet, double crocheted the top so it has this on the top and it has it on the bottom okay and then I put the doily on it now y'all are thinking well that's not very centered no it's not I I don't know what it is, but I don't like centered. I don't like it perfect, perfect. And I don't like it matchy, matchy. That's why I only did the top and the bottom with the, the border. Because if I did this, it would bother me. And I don't know if it's my signature thing that I do, but I don't like it to be perfect and match, and I just don't like it. So, this is the doily that I did, and this is from the crochet crowd. And I just stitched it on there just a couple spots so it will stay and um, you got if you want to to wash your pillow be mindful of the yarn you use if you use a wool type of yarn right here you're gonna have a felted doily and it's gonna I don't know how well that's gonna look but uh, so I have a mixed fiber yarn so I know I can't wash this pillow because it's mixed fibers and I'm not sure what the fibers are um, I know, isn't that bad? I don't know what I'm using. So anyway, all it is, so there's your basic pillow. And if you decide one day, I don't like the doily look today. That's why you have a blank side. Look how cute that is without the doily. You got the top and the bottom, and it's just clean. And I love this. I don't know how... I don't know where to get some more of this, but all it is is linen napkins. Two linen napkins I've sewed together and make a pouch for the pillow, and then sew the whole clothes. Um, and it's really soft. Uh, you know, a lot of your materials, y'all, you can find at the thrift store. And I know a lot of y'all have may have not gone to thrift stores, you know. You go to the fabric stores and stuff like that, and... Um, but think about it it's cheaper to do the thrift store my thrift store supports the local hospital so of course that's a big thing to me and I will go to the thrift shop and, and shop there you know because the proceeds go to the hospital and uh, you can find just great stuff there that you can turn around and make better stuff with and then sell it you know that pillow cost me under two dollars to get I can turn around and sell it for ten, fifteen dollars, and um, it's a great little pillow. So um, my shop is having my the thrift shop is having sale on those little pillows for fifty cents, 
And uh, on the weekends, I get better prices, so I got it for, I think, about a quarter. And um, anyway, so the next thing that I'm going to work on, because I need some different stuff, is um, beaded barefoot sandals. I don't know if y'all have seen those, but it hooks onto your toe and then wraps around your ankle, and it's just beaded. Um, I was going to do crochet ones, but there's no point. I don't like the crochet ones. I want the beaded. I like the beaded better. So, um... I will sell those. I hope to sell those pretty well. And, um, I think that's all I've got going. Oh, I'm, gonna make, I'm making little purses. Because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of the little girls are looking for something that are really cheap, you know, that they can buy at the shop and uh, be cute. So I'm making these little purses um, that are granny square. Look, it's not granny square, it's like granny stripes. Anyway, I'm going to make them for about five to eight bucks and uh, put them in a big bin and be five dollar purses. I'll probably go with five dollars. And yeah, I'm losing some money on some of the stuff I'm doing, but it, I want it to sell. I don't want somebody to be able to take it home and, and you know, whatever. So, anyway, um, that's about all I've got going, guys. And um, I'll be sure to put the links in the, in the box down there. Uh, uh, things that I have talked about and like I said if you got any questions, comments, whatever uh, holler at me and I will address those and um, if you need help with patterns or whatever holler at me. You know I'm crochet is what I do for a business so I'm here all day long and available. You can also find me on Facebook, Sunny Crochet um, thank you for all the support